Treatments of COVID-19 Using Yuan Shi Dian Case Study Female COVID-19 Patients, Age 27, Vancouver, BC I'm the mother of Miss Lee, a 27-year-old young woman from Vancouver, BC. My daughter went out with a boyfriend on Boxing Day, December 26, 2020. Since the boyfriend was unaware that he had come into contact with a confirmed COVID patient a few days ago, both of them got infected respectively. The boyfriend was confirmed positive after a COVID-19 test. After acknowledging the condition of my daughter's boyfriend, we immediately quarantined her in her suite for observation. As I actively practiced Yuan Shi Dian YSD medicine, I then asked my daughter to inhale ginger powder and gargle with ginger tincture regularly, and to ensure that her body was kept warm to prevent symptoms that could be caused by heat energy deficiency. External heat source application Ginger powder Inhale through the nose Breathe through the mouth to bring the powder down the respiratory tract. Ginger tincture. Apply directly to the throat, or apply a few more drops to rinse the mouth or the throat. Three days later, my daughter started to develop fever and headache. I immediately recommended self antoy press and rub, of the YSD points behind the ears and along the back of the head. Subsequently, every single point was very painful. The pain was alleviated after the antoy. Then, warm pads were put into the head scarf to wrap around the head for one full, apply warm compress, and the electric blanket was set to the highest temperature to sleep on. External heat source application Warmers Warm pads were put into a head scarf to wrap around the head to one full head YSD. Warm pads can also be attached to the upper back YSD locations. Since my daughter was fine in her stamina and spirit, the symptoms were temporarily more in the head location. 25 grams dry ginger was then initially used to boil into concentrated ginger soup for replenishing the internal heat source, while she alternately swallowed ginger pills and continued to spray ginger powder into the nose and gargled with ginger tincture. The next day, my daughter's fever subsided. Her body temperature resumed it to normal, but she still felt extremely fatigued and weak. In view of the symptom of physical weakness that required to heat energy reinforcement, the following adjustments were made to her treatment. Increasing the amount of dry ginger instantly to 40 grams, swallowing ginger pills, spraying ginger powder into the nose every two hours, and applying warm pads to head and neck locations for 24 hours one full. Concentrated ginger soup preparation 40 gram dry ginger 200 cc water Boil 6 hours to obtain concentrated ginger soup Add warm water again to boil for a second round. Drink both portions of ginger soup throughout the day at even intervals. On the third day, she still felt tired and weak all over the body, but demonstrated no other discomfort. Internal and external heat sources were applied continuously. Simultaneously, I tried to, to calm her, 
and reassured her that as long as there was amelioration of his energy deficiency, anti-shan, bodily impairment, she needed not to worry about the coronavirus infection. To maintain a normal state of mind would reduce heat energy consumption, which could be helpful for the conditions of the illness. On the fourth day, she was able to get out of bed and was able to start with light stretching exercise. However, she found the taste of food different from usual and gradually lost her sense of taste except for the hot and spicy taste of ginger. Upon understanding the situation, I added more spices to the food preparation. At the same time, I increased the dosage of ginger pills and also taught my daughter to untwine more of her YSD pawns behind the ears and the extension pawns. Internal heat source application Ginger pills, ginger powder paste. Three to four ginger pills every two hours, or based on needs. Took five pills after the loss of taste. Mixed ginger powder paste to put in the mouth if ginger pills were unavailable. Warm diet. The main principle was to have balanced nutrition of foods that were easy to digest. Reduced the consumption of heat energy. Added more nuts and spices into the diet. On the fifth day, my daughter still suffered from the loss of taste. There were itchiness in the throat, dry cough, and the sensation of prickling felt around the ribs. I taught her to untwine the YSD points of head, neck, and upper back with DIY do-it-yourself tools. And she studied Dr. Jiang's video to massage the painful areas around the ribs with the tips of the fingers. The symptoms were alleviated. She continued to one full head, neck, and upper back for 24 hours. DIY tools Symptoms of flu usually found in head, neck, and upper back locations. Use the tools to assist self untwine the YSD points of these locations. On the sixth day, my daughter basically had no major problem of her body. Exercise time had been increased. When bathing in warm ginger water, she would feel radiant heat throughout the body and would continue to sweat. After drying the body, it was physically and mentally relaxing, and the dry cough also stopped. Overall, the symptoms of COVID-19 had been resolved. As it is undesirable to catch cold and lose heat energy, it is not recommended to take baths. Instead, wipe the body and face with a towel soaked in warm ginger water. After the conditions improved, recommend boiling a full pot of water with previously cooked ginger pulp of two to three days that were refrigerated and shower with the warm and mild ginger solution. Be sure to keep the bathroom warm with short bathing time to avoid catching cold again. My daughter's test report from the BC Center for Disease Control. 10 days after display of symptoms, results confirmed positive. My husband and I who live with her and she herself were required to self-isolate. As there is misconception about coronavirus infection being cureless, we are grateful that we have learned the applications of Yuan Shi Dan medicine to tackle the illness, so as not to be living in fear and remain vulnerable. 
great appreciation to Dr. Jiang and Yuan Shidan Madison. The following is my daughter's statement of COVID experience. Initially, I was not particularly wary or overstressed about the COVID-19 virus. This is because I had a daily practice of what it means to properly wear a mask, wash my hands thoroughly, and social distance at all costs. This is also the reason why when I did contract the COVID-19 virus, I was very shocked and felt quite scared. I was very anxious as I did not know how my body would react or whether it would have the ability to fight off the unpredictable symptoms of the virus. Luckily, my mom who regularly practices Yuan Shi Yan and applies its principles in her day-to-day -day living was able to guide me step by step through tackling each of the different symptoms. Some of the symptoms I had experienced include fever for the first one and a half days, migraine, chills, feeling constantly fatigued, and I also had a loss of taste. When I had a fever, I had also experienced chills. My mom had informed me that this was due to a severe loss of energy in my body, and it was important to replenish the heat energy as soon as possible. Therefore, my mom instructed me to use adhesive heat pads to stick them on specific points on my back and to place the heated pads in the headscarf so that I could then use the headscarf to wrap it around my head and neck area. In addition, I also have a daily habit of sleeping on a heated mattress in the nighttime to further preserve my body heat energy. I would also wake up every few hours to gargle ginger tincture swab ginger powder in my nostrils, and ingest ginger pills as well as drink ginger soup. As a result, my fever did not last long and went away after the first initial day and a half. Whenever I had a migraine, I would utilize the DIY tool to massage the yuan shi dian pressure points along the nape of my neck, including the area behind my ear. When I had massaged the each point, the pressure points felt quite swollen and sore. The chills on my body had however prolonged and I had the urge to take showers. My mom had advised me not to do so as my body was still initially weak and I could be at risk of catching a cold. When my symptoms had improved, my mom prepared a large pot of hot ginger water so that I could first pour it all over my body before I continued to shower. When I first poured the ginger water from head to toe, I felt an immediate stinging, tingly sensation all over as if I was feeding the ginger water to my body. The additional warmth from the ginger water helped me feel more at ease while sustaining the heat from within. The symptoms I had experienced with COVID was more or less like having a flu. The major difference I noticed was the distinct change in my taste buds. For instance, while I was brushing my teeth, my toothpaste tasted like gasoline. I also began to lose my taste buds and could only taste strong pungent flavors such as ginger. Therefore, my mom had prepared nutrient-rich meals with additional spices and ginger. During the recovery process, I had started taking short walks and had performed light exercises. As a result, my taste buds returned shortly after two to three days with all of my symptoms dissipated. 